Okay, uh, Jason. Um, long we haven't uh, uh, always been able to use it, um, so I wonder if it's uh, I call it the holy grail of, uh, of parameters, but perhaps it's not. But we'll just have to see and uh, find out. Uh, previously, uh, let's just say something about me. I'm married, have two children three grandchildren and a dog. Some have seen the dog, some have seen my oldest uh, grandchild. Um, she was here yesterday. Um, I work with uh, the FM Multicola, which is part of a free voice. Uh, free voice is a communication company. My first encounter with a farm maker uh, was when it still was from Nishoba. So that's a very, very long time ago. Um, and to be honest, I fell in love with it the first time I've seen it. So never left it since. I am a certified developer since a very long time ago. Uh, I think seven was my first certificate. So that's for a while. Um, I'm living in uh, Hilversum, a city in uh, the center of Holland, in the Netherlands. This was uh, our city hall. This is a, a museum called Beeld en Geluid. The, the pictures you see the, on, on the windows are actually screens from television shows. And this is another uh, remarkable building. So how did we do it? Um, probably a lot of us uh, just used uh, simple parameters uh, a single one, a multi one divided by uh, returns or field definition, fields with uh, which divided by uh, returns. Quite simple to use, um, but sometimes risky, especially if, uh, for instance, you have a field with returns, then you won't be able to get the correct, uh, the correct uh, parameter. So Tricky, but useful. Another one uh, which I uh, found years ago uh, makes use of a uh, custom function and it enables you to use named parameters, which is better than uh, just uh, throw in a couple of uh, parameters and hope you get uh, the correct one if you need it. Neat thing about this is you can either use global or local variables if you launch the script. So what if you uh, use uh, uh, JSON as a uh, parameter or set of parameters? It's a little similar to the one we previously, previously seen. Um, you just use named parameters. So this is uh, a small uh, part of uh, a larger set of parameters which I use in uh, in a set of uh, files. And let's uh, take a little deeper look at uh, at what I'm doing there. So I hope I can switch to my file maker file. I hope you see this. We can all see that. You can see it, okay, that's that's good. Um, this is just a demo file. Um, I will put it later on on the, on the site uh, for everyone to uh, play with it. It's uh, It comes as it goes. Um, what I do here, let me go into layout mode, is I simply, um, let me say first, the objective um, for um, combining a lot of parameters within the, the uh, script parameter is to use as less scripts as possible. So I tend to, to try to uh, create scripts 
that, uh, for instance, uh, if you want to delete a, a record, always use, try to use the same script to, lead, to delete a record. I don't know if you followed uh, uh, um, Russell's uh, session yesterday, but he also tends to use uh, a single script to delete a record. Unfortunately, it's not always possible, but at least try to do it as much as possible. So if you look at my, uh, my scripts, I have here a list of scripts, which I almost use in every uh, project I uh, create. So if you have a button, double click it, choose the script you need, and set the parameters. As you can see, there are a number of parameters. Um, one neat uh, uh, tool I have is uh, called a typinator. So you don't want to copy paste uh, each time you have you, you have need of these uh, large uh, numbers of text. So you can just use typinator and tell it where to go. One thing I do with uh, uh, within these scripts is I make use of named layouts. So I don't, uh, you, you could, for instance, with a single step, say go to layout and directly choose the layout. I prefer to use the the name of the layout and the name of the layout is stored within a table. So I just refer to the ID of the file of the record to fetch the name of the layout. Uh, well, let's try to modify this one. Perform script. I uh, say uh, go to layout. Fetch a number of parameters. So the not so nice thing about this is I have to close all this to be able to see uh, the layout number. So mostly I have a second file um, available. Whoa. Let's close this one. Uh, second one available, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, that has to go. To see where I need to go, um, this is the layout, the, the, the table with the layouts. I also have one for the scripts. I have uh, one for help if I need codings, uh, plugins. I also have a design, which opens up a, a separate one. I uh, put all design objects on, uh, on this layout. But we need to go to this one and access is uh, layout 21. So, so we go back in layout mode. See this one, uh, say, okay, it's 21. I don't really need a, a, a reference, but it's always uh, nice to really see what you're going to. Um, you see, I have divided into multiple parts um, in my, uh, uh, slides you could see I uh, created uh, uh, you can I, you can create global variables. I have uh, implemented that into the script. We'll take the script later on. Um, and within the same parameters, you're able to create global variables. So you don't need to have that separately. Um, if you need to, 
you can uh, run a script before the new window action or before the uh, layout switching. I have a, uh, a global find which I use so I can uh, close, uh, clear the field. If you come from a pop-up, you can choose to close the pop-up. If you want to use the global find, you can use it here, which reminds me that um, the, the, uh, it, it uses the quick find method from FileMaker, which is not 100% uh, ideal because you cannot use wildcards, but for a lot of things it works. Um, okay, I store the data from the current parent window, which I'm on. Uh, I use a uh, custom function for that. I use a number of custom functions by default. Do I, knew, do I need to go to a, an existing uh, window? Uh, what am I gonna do with Windows? Do I want to have a new window? Well, let's say in this case, we do want to have a new window. And because it's, I know it's a, uh, a list I want to go to, I say, I want it a little smaller. And uh, do I want to have a new window, which is a card list? Just give it a name. I can choose to close the current window. I can choose to adjust the uh, new window. And I have the different options you have when you choose new window. You have all these check boxes on, on the bottom. You can choose to do some things with that. Want to run a script after we have entered the new layout. If you want to, you can uh, adjust some additional uh, uh, window parameters, or you can just use the, the ones uh, loaded when the, the project is opened. And if you want to select an object, you can select an object afterwards. So that, that's about it. I say, okay. Uh, it's a little too wide, but that's mainly because I have, uh, okay, yes. This is not the good. Let me see. I, oh. Okay, I think I used the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Create a new one. Okay. So instead of 21, we use 23. And this is what you get. So if you want to go to another layout, you just have to go into the, the uh, well, this one is this is the one I need. I think I've screwed up a little building this one. But if you have a new layout, uh, you can prepare it. And when the, the system is, uh, when you need to, you can change the name to the real layout name, which needs to be, um, it all works. So if we look into the script, it's, uh, it's this one, it's quite a lengthy one. Um, that should not normally be a problem, but 
It's not doing what I need to. Okay. Uh, okay, I always make some extra additional notes and, and things about the script. Here we get the parameters. This is the part where, you, where I clear the, the quick find field. Here we have the, the part to create the global variables. For that I use the, uh, the custom function. This one. Do we need to uh, close the popover? Do we need to run a script before we are switching? Do we need to close the current window? Are we working in another one or are we just uh, creating a new one? This is the most, the, the, the lengthiest part of the script because it handles the, oops, it's until here. It handles the layout itself. Um, and as you can see, you have a lot of options to, to set uh, because, because of the difference you have within uh, the possibilities of the new window, each one has to have its uh, its own uh, script step. Perform a find. When you enter the, the layout, you can choose to uh, do a quick find. This part is for adjusting the window. Yes, I know, I know my, well, my battery is uh, almost died. I put in uh, the plug, the plug in the power. That should help. Um, so if you want to adjust the window, you can use this one. It uses a, a subscript. And finally, you have the, the possibility of running the, uh, the a, a subscript after the first one. Um, since there are so many options within it, I have decided to uh, create a separate script where I uh, and uh, notify which parameter does what, which makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, this would have been in, to incorporate in the main script. So this is one of them. Uh, and as you can see, I have a, a couple of them with the number of script steps and, and possibilities. Um, also, the, the subscripts. Uh, I also use uh, uh, a technique or well, technique a table um, to use the to to tell them which subscript uh, I want to have uh, I want to run. So that's uh, that's about what I had to uh, to show you. I don't know if there are any questions. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I just wonder, what is it actually that you're trying to achieve by using these elaborated scripts? Um, for me, it is to have uh, less scripts to handle and um, being able to, uh, uh, perform an action, uh, well, with, with one script. 
which I think is uh, a lot of times easier than having to uh, to run a, to use a, a number of scripts. Okay, well, thanks for your answer. Um, I would actually argue exactly the opposite. When you separate your logic into smaller scripts, you are uh -huh. much more flexible. What, what it seems to me, you have only actually transferred the uh, logical thinking that goes into building your scripts into a set of parameters of one script. And so you have introduced extra layer that does not bring any improvement on your uh, logical processes. And you've gone into, you, you had to introduce a dispatcher script, which in general is always, I believe, quite a bad idea. Because imagine you have some, you have to debug something. You always have to go through so many ifs, ifs, ifs before you actually realize. Now, if it's your code, I understand that uh, you probably know exactly where to put your breakpoint, but we've had uh, in the past projects, we took over from other developers and the clients ask us, yeah, this doesn't work here. And when they use this picture script, it was a nightmare to figure out what is going on because you had to debug through like 50 if else statements. That's a nightmare. I mean, you your code will do exactly the same if you spread it uh, separate it into smaller scripts and you just put a sequence of perform script uh, statements. I, I think it's much more efficient than what you're doing because you, you've got all the tools you can have from FileMaker itself. Now, if you introduce an extra layer, your layer will never uh, provide the same flexibility as FileMaker itself unless you put enormous amount of time into, into it. And the result is almost, there is almost no added value as far as I can tell. But I, I, I mean, sorry, I don't mean to disencourage you or anything. Oh, I don't, I don't feel disencouraged. I, I like to hear uh, 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 comments about how I'm doing it. Um, and I have to admit, um, perhaps for some, uh, parts it's uh, well over the top but on the other hand I have also uh, frequently uh, uh, inherited uh, systems built by other developers and I I had to find the opposite of what you're saying they are they have so enormously uh, uh, number of scripts that you can hardly find any uh, uh, script needed um, because there's so many. So I think the, the I think for both uh, uh, methods, both can be valid. Yeah. And there's another advantage I think because with the name parameters you can use the script in different ways on different locations. And if you want to add a certain feature or function to the script, you can do it by adding extra parameters in the script parameter and then use it only in one location. And then also gives the possibility to fluidly go to a next version of the script by uh, adding parameters or changing it during a certain period of time. Yes, that's, that's true, but if, if you're, if you're trying to do, say, test-driven development or incorporate testing into your development, what you then end up with is a, an enormous number of test cases you need to build to thoroughly test to make sure it's doing exactly what you think. It's, to be honest, in, in essence, it's almost like you've added a kind of a domain-specific language built in the parameters on top of um, that. It's, I can certainly see that what you've got is you've got your logic in one place, essentially mm -hmm. in the parameters. And once you're used to that, for you, that's probably a, obviously a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting. Well, it, it, I think you can just see it as a method of working. Um, as I said, it's not the holy grail. Um, 
I found it useful to have uh, to being able to uh, uh, well, for instance, copy a, a, a button, put it on another uh, layout, and just change the parameters. And also uh, with the the, uh, the named references to uh, to layouts, I think it's very useful, um, especially. If you use a, uh, uh, if you used to um, editing in live data, you can build a new uh, layout, and all you have to do is, if it's finished, change the name of the layout in the table, and everybody sees the new one. So, as I said, it's 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 a method of working. It's it's not the holy grail. For me, it works. Um, it doesn't have to be for everyone. All right, why don't we wrap it there uh, mm -hmm. so Noel can get set up and um, get his screen shared. Yep, okay. All right, thanks, Gerard. Thank you. Bye-bye.